Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So today I have a book review for you today on the book Make It Stick, which is a book about education and learning and how to increase your learning and how to actually make what you're learning stick. I thought this was a really interesting book uh, and, and something that, uh, that I'm always interested in. I've, of course, done a course on 10 steps to learn anything quickly and a lot of the things that I read in this book parallel uh, what I came up with on my own for, for that course as I did experiments and figured out how to, how to learn quickly. If you're interested, you can check out that of course, of course. I also want to tell you about someone who inspired this book, uh, one of my good friends, Manny from 2000 Books which you can check out over there. He's got a bunch of book summaries, more than just the reviews I do here, but actual book summaries. You should definitely check that out if you're interested in good books and, and, and books in general and, and getting the most out of them. He's got, uh, he extracts all that wisdom and uh, so go to 2000 books. So anyway, let's, let's talk about this book. So uh, make it stick. The premise of this book is that a lot of the ways that we study and that we learn are not very good and they're not very effective. And what we typically do, what most people do, is they reread text multiple times or they highlight or they take notes and that's all that they do. And one of the big things that this book said was that they've actually done studies and they have actual empirical evidence and they said, no, 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 wait a minute, that's not the best way to study and the best way to retain information. Instead, the best thing to do is to read the text but then quiz yourself, actually test. <clears throat> so you actually learn by testing. They found that the you know somewhat difficult recall of material results in greater retention over time or greater duration of retention, which this was pretty interesting to me. I mean, <coughs> I'm definitely a, a person that has spent a lot of time learning, teaching myself things and teaching other people how, how to learn. But I didn't realize how much that it's not just repetition, but it's actually the retention of things. So if I ask you a question, so right now, right, if I said to you, hey, stop for a minute and think about what is the number one mistake that people make when trying to learn something? And you have to say, you recall that and you say, what do you say? Go ahead, answer it. Okay, and so you said it was rereading text over and over or taking notes, right? And then I said, and what is the solution for that? What's the more effective way to do that to increase retention? And you gotta think for a second, maybe pause the video, and you say, it's by testing. It's by quizzing yourself or testing. Okay, that increases duration. Now, that's implanted in your mind a lot stronger than if you just watched this video. So in fact, probably a week from now, you'll probably still be able to recall that. You may have gotten more out of this video just by me doing that process than you would have you know, from, from normally reading the video or reading the video, watching the video, you, you know what I'm saying? So, so anyway, so, so the book was really good. It, it talked about that, it also talked about this idea of using interleaving, or basically, you know, the way that that I would I would summarize that is to say that if you're trying to learn something, instead of like repeating a, a drill multiple times over and over and over again until you master it, it's better if you break that up and you do one drill and then you do a different drill and you do a different one. And you go back to one and you have some kind of random pattern or alternation between that, rather than focusing on one thing until you master it, right? And so, a, a good example of this is flashcards, right? If you've ever learned your multiplication tables through flashcards or, or anything through flashcards, you know that what you do is you go and you, you you don't just study one particular number or one particular thing or concept and try to memorize it. Instead, you go through and, and you test yourself. You're constantly testing yourself and you're also constantly alternating between different things that you're trying to learn. And when you have that over spaced out over time, space repetition, you end up having a higher durability, right? And and so this this practice, like doing mass practice on one particular skill set is really, really appealing and it, it gives you good gains and benefits during that practice session, so it looks like it's more effective, whereas doing the interleaving doesn't look as effective, but it actually gives you a better benefit in the long run because for duration purposes, the memory is six better. He also talked about new, uh, what's it called, new, mnemonics, mnemonics, right? Which is, I did this book review on walk, Moonwalking with Einstein, really, really good book. You should definitely check out that book if you get a chance, really, really interesting. But it, it talks about all that, but it's basically increasing your memory by using 
different tricks for, for memory. Like s sometimes you might use, you know, the big one is what, what they call a memory fortress where you have maybe like rooms in your house or a walk that you take and in different places you visualize things because we're better at spatial and visual memorization or you know recalling and so you could like put things in, in different places or you know some people do it with their their fingers or different folders on their hands that they, they imagine on this finger I'm storing this image that represents this thing and there's a lot of a lot of ways to increase your memory that way but it doesn't increase your learning it just makes it so that you can recall things better or you can associate things better so anyway uh, and then the final part of the book talked about how to actually teach and how to apply this yourself as, a, as someone who's studying or someone who's coaching or giving training. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. Most of these book reviews that I do, I do them in a way that I'm just telling you about kind of what I like or don't like about the book. And I might not recall this much information right up front, but I pretty much walked through this book and gave you most of the P the key pieces of this more more like a book summary and so that's kind of a testament to what the authors of the book are saying because or the author of the book because he basically structured the book in the same way of of teaching that he is recommending for making things stick and so that book stuck in my mind and the concepts of that book stuck in my mind a lot better than a lot of other books that I read so that's kind of a testament to me I'm like okay well this must work because obviously I, I can recall a whole large amount of information from that book why it's because of the way that he did this and he did space repetition and he did interleaving and he did you know, quizzing type of things where he'd re bring up information. So really, really good book. Uh, again, like I said, my my good friend Manny uh, recommended it. You can check out his site, 2000 Books. I've done some promotions here, but go go check it out. You know, click the link. Make sure you click the link or the link in the description below to get the, a discount on some of his book summaries. Really good, good stuff. Sometimes I put it on sale here on, on Simple Programmer, but you should check it out. There's a limited number of coupons, so go go do that if you if you can. And uh, and if you're interested in the book, definitely go check that out as well. Make uh, make it stick, D not made to stick. Don't get it confused with that. That's also another good book, but this one is called uh, Make It Stick. And uh, that's all I got for you today. All right, if you like this video and you want to subscribe, it's real simple. All you got to do is click that subscribe button below and uh, click the bell and you won't miss any videos from now on. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.